Welcome to TorchwoodHostings.com's How to Set Up Your SAMS Broadcaster to Encode with our WHM Sonic Servers. This tutorial will also include setting up your metadata information so it passes a song title played and it will show you how to put in the DJ name in front of every song played. However, if you are a licensed station do note that due to licensing reasons, you may not be able to use the part where you put your DJ name in front of the song played because it's a violation of their licensing terms. So check with your licensing provider to make sure it's legal or not to do that. But as long as you're not licensed, you shouldn't have a problem with it. First thing you do is you load up your SAMS encoder. Then you create your encoder, which we're going to set one up here. We're going to do MP3 Pro. I prefer that one over MP3 Normal. It doesn't matter which one you choose, MP3 Normal or Pro. I just like Pro. It sounds better. That's just my personal opinion. Then after that, you choose your bit rate. Always keep your quality at medium. Never use high quality because high quality makes the SAMS process number one on your computer and that will cause you issues. It'll cause buffering and you'll think it's a server but it's not actually the server. Now here we're going to use in this example 320 kilobits but of course most people can't stream at 320 so you're going to have to set it to what you want or what your server can do depending on your internet. We're going to use 320, 44 kilohertz stereo. You come over here and you click allow scripts and stream and you check the automatic embed ID v2 tags. That part's done. Come over to your server details. You put the IP address of the server that you received from torchwoodhosting.com in. And it'll be something, and this is just a sample IP address. It'll be something like uh, 192.245.789.123. It'll be something like that. Then you put in here your DJ manager port, not your real port. That's normally a 5000 series port, so let's just hypothetically say it was port number 5380. And then you put your password in. The password is always the DJ name colon the password assigned. Then you come over to your station name. You can put your station name there. The rest of this little section here is kind of optional. If you have a website or a lounge, you can put it in there. It ain't going to make a hill of beans if you left all this the same, but I'm just going to put in A under our C channel. Now down here where it says dollar sign combined dollar sign, if you put your DJ name, and I recommend DJ underscore name and a space in front of that dollar sign, that will show your name in front of every song that's played so people in the lounge will know or on your site that you are the one on air. <clears throat> Once you do that, you click OK and start your streaming. If everything is right, you start your encoder, it should say connected, and you're good to go there. If it does say disconnected, go back and edit. If you copied and pasted any of these lines here, you might want to manually type it in because a lot of times if you copy and paste, you'll get a leading space or a trailing space in there and that will cause you an error. All it takes is one little space right there in the IP and that will give you an error and won't let you connect. Same thing with the port and the password. Also too, remember when using the DJ manager it's always a DJ name colon password. You don't just put the password in there. With that said, I hope this tutorial has helped you out and I hope you will figure out exactly what you need and we hope to keep your business for a very long time. TorchwoodHosting.com, we strive on the best customer service and the best servers you're going to find on the web.